Well, hi YouTube. Uh, it's Michael. Today I wanted to give you a closer look to my relay card. Uh, this has one specific reason people seem to be, well, quite interested in that specific uh, project of mine. And, uh, well, I wanted to show you some of the things you can do with it and how it works. Well, the main reason why I developed this card at all was I had this uh, card from uh, Conrad, which was very crappy, based on an RS-232 and didn't work well, and, well, to the end it didn't work at all. So, at first, this is the older layout for this card. Well, this is the empty PCB back side of the PCB, this is the front side. It's already drilled. See? And this is the card. Well, I renewed the layout a little, uh, rearranged it, but um, my printer is defective, so I only had the old film and uh, used that one to develop it. Well, this is the empty card, and, well, you already saw uh, the populated card. Well, basically, what it is, those are six relays, so the card has six channels, uh, and Atmega 32. And this is a darling array, right? Transistors to switch the relays. Um, this is a, a well, two-digit uh, alphanumeric uh, display, uh, a numeric display, to show the timers. Well, which I demonstrate later on. This, of course, is the USB, and this transmit and uh, receive for the USB. <coughs> this is the voltage supply. And this is the infrared receiver, which makes it possible to, uh, based on an RC5 remote control, to uh, switch the relays to three. And this was the light. The three is the light, you know. Huh? And you can also, by pressing nine, for example, you can switch and er everything off. And then there is the second method of uh, usage. You can use those two uh, switches here to control the relays. You see, um, the yellow LED always shows the relay that is currently selected for the operation. And if you, say, press that one, then you switch the selected relay. That's uh, the one that is selected, right? So, um, and there is, of course, uh, a PC client, which is the most powerful way of controlling the card. Um, let's see where we can get a halfway through sharp picture. This could be a problem, all right. Uh, let's make it a little larger, right? Minus S, this is the control. Uh, program, the client, PC client, minus S always shows the current status. And as you can see, it says that um, th those two relays are switched on. And as you can see, this is exactly what it is. And it was demonstrated that it really works. Let's sw manually switch on the first relay. Oh, the first one. Oh, great. Okay, let's use the second one. And uh, to do this again, and as you can see, it realized now that the second one switched off. So, what you can also do is, of course, say something like toggle the nth relay, toggle the first relay, minus T1. This will always give you the um, reverse operation to the current status of the relay, meaning if it is on, it switches it off, and, and vice versa. And uh, you can do something like switch the relay on. The first one, uh, in say 10 minutes, then you have to use minus V10. And now it has a program timer. Uh, when it has a program timer, it always shows on the display the remaining uh, number of minutes, and also if it goes down under a minute, it's, it shows the seconds until the operation uh, will proceed. And you can program multiple timers, say, Switch the second one on in one minute. No, off. 
Okay, and if I said it shall switch off. All right, let's do this. And as you can see now, it shows it always uh, goes through here and shows uh, for each of the relays that have a program timer shows the remaining time. And uh, this one is always the selected one, meaning this is the time for this relay and this is the time of that relay and still uh, what you can do is uh, still doing your operations well once you switch one relay it will delete the timer but um, so it goes back to the timer so and you can delete all timers say by doing minus D for delete all timers um, let's do it then every timer is deleted well that's basically it that's basically what you can do with uh, this relay card and well if you want to have schematics and stuff just drop me a line I can give you a PCB layout and everything so hope you might enjoy it and so I don't know if you have this little control fetish like I do then it might be a good thing for you <laughs> thanks for watching